Sunday the 8th of July, four past 12, and we're off in the rain. And it pissed it down this morning. <laughs> All morning. Some of that coming off. Captain. It's falling over there. First mate, Adam. Tim the cabin boy. <laughs> and I'm staying in here. Yeah. And Meg's the queen. Queen of the ship. Yeah, she's the eyes and the ears. But there is a uh, Woodbridge, or not quite Woodbridge, but this is the yacht club. And there's our mooring, and we'll see it again. Well, Rich will see it again in uh, next year. Next year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe in a couple of months. How are you feeling, Rich? Pretty good. Been like it's rain, but <laughs> everything's good. And uh, well, the trouble is that we're having a good discussion. Oh, I know. As our body of knowledge grows, <laughs> then back to the Look, we might have a few of these this week. <laughs> we're sailing. <laughs> We are sailing. Yeah, go along nicely. No engine on. Hello. <laughs> recording now. It is recording now. Do my sweep. <laughs> Don't drink and drive out of that. Size will be. <laughs> Still recording? Yeah, great <laughs> British. Soaking it all up. Soak up that light. Your bees. Getting arty shots. Captain? You know what I like? <laughs> oh, I don't want to know what you like. There's a hole over there in the clouds. Here we are, Great Yarmouth. Um, you can hear a ding dong. There's, there's like an old historic building outside. Uh, there's a clock tower, and it's a bit of a mongy ding dong as well because it don't chime properly. I think it's a bit rusty, maybe. But yeah, we're gonna sleep here, and we're gonna get up, and we're gonna go at 3 a.m. <laughs> for 20 <laughs> hours. About four hours time. To a place called Spermhead, which just sounds like a bit of a porno. <laughs> Rich is leading the show. Yeah, <laughs> Rich in charge. Right, there's the old building, that's probably the highlight of Great Yarmouth. You don't even have to leave your bunk. Yeah, you can just rock on up, <laughs> you can sleep here, you can see the sights and you can fuck off. Adam's in the coffin. You don't even have to pay uh, parking. Rich is up front and Meg's is going to crash out as well. <laughs> so, I'll see you in about four hours. Night, night. Leaving Great Yarmouth. Any of that makes any sense to you? This might make more sense. <laughs> <laughs> <There is. laughs> we only have three hours sleep. Yeah. We're about to have a 20 hour day. Help us. Here we go. Biggest day of the trip 80 miles. 80 miles in two hours. They say it cannot be done. Not very light out here yet. <laughs> this is what Great Yarmouth looks like at uh, about quarter to four in the morning. Oil rig plates. Uh, stuff for the wind farms. Way to sail. 
action. Hello. Saw a seal this morning, saw two. <laughs> Tim got them on the binoculars. <laughs> I saw one when I woke up, I slept next to Adam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two seals. And uh, what's the weather report, Rich? Um, not a lot of wind. North Easterlies, about like this. Just leave the spurn head to get out to Scarborough. That's spurn head. Spurn head. <laughs> stand corrected. We've got a little bit of wind in the sails. Hopefully we'll get the cruising sheet up soon. And that's... And that gives us like warp speed number one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, well on our way. On our way to... Scarborough. Scarborough. Cool. It's not too bad. It's Jurassic Park out there. Look at that. Good. 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 Yep. Very welcoming, had a good breakfast and a little explore. Awesome breakfast. And uh, Megs, got anything to say? No. <laughs> Just sleeping. Yeah. Megs had a traumatic day yesterday. Basically, if I was Tim's um, eyes right now, Tim walked up to the passageway. Look down there where Rich's foot is, and there was something brown, but it wasn't Rich's foot. <laughs> it was about as long as Rich's foot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he got a big lung full of it. <laughs> I went, oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then it, then it got a little crazy. <laughs> got messy. That's <laughs> Ed. Trying to find a charger for my uh, tablet, with no success. That's about it. All showered, went for a nice run this morning. Tim, very healthy until we then had the big cook breakfast again. Excellent breakfast. Sailor's <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> Bigger than my sauce and the bacon. <laughs> but yeah, we're actually sailing, and Rich actually knows where we're going. <laughs> That's quite impressive. This is Richard's uh, <laughs> daily ritual, washing poo off the boat. Washing the boats with dirty water. We've been depositing on the boat in the first place. Literally just come into port, <laughs> and what happened, Adam? Next shat everywhere. <laughs> Yay! Doesn't she feel better? Panting. Ford X now clear. Was, is like, she had a dump at the front of the boat and it came out, it looked like Chinese chip shop curry. Yeah, and then uh, Rich, whilst he was up there cleaning that bit up, she came to the back of the boat and she had another dump. So then, as soon as he was cleaning it, she was dumping it out again. She's mostly done though, we think. Yeah, back to Seems square to be one. breathing heavily. It's yeah. almost like giving birth every time. We're now in Blythe. Yeah. There's a lot of wind turbines. Alright Adam, too much detail mate. <laughs> we can stop there. Okay then, that thing there is causing all sorts of problems. <laughs> so it's now on bread. <laughs> Staple Which is uh, not going down quite so well. <laughs> So hopefully it's going to improve. We're now in Blythe and we're enjoying a little bit of uh, rum and coke. Late and night rum and, and coke, cheese and crackers. <laughs> and cheese and crackers. Cream cheese cracker time. Yeah. Don't forget the galaxy. 
And we've had quite a nice little uh, trip to yeah. the pub Blythe. in the uh, Blythe uh, Sailing Club, mm. which uh, was quite nice on a boat. Yeah. Actually an old ship, yeah, really mm. nice actually. Well, to be fair, when we got here, we weren't expecting much. <laughs> it's basically it's a, a, a naked <laughs> industrial <laughs> uh, yard. You right. wouldn't want to go past the yacht club, really. Right, from afar, you see some pretty fancy looking um, wind turbines. But then you get up close and you realise they're actually all rusted and they're not working anymore. So, Most of them. that's Blythe. Mm. So off tomorrow to uh, Holy Island. We're we'll going to yeah. pick up Rob. Rendezvous with Rob. Yeah. It'll be an holy. excellent day. Not holly. Yeah, he might get a holly head, never know. <laughs> we'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> Magical mystery tour. Yeah. If you are in Wales, Rob, and you're watching this, or you did go to Wales. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we know. You missed out on well. a week sailing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, fellas? Well, well we're nearly at the end of one part of this uh, long, long journey. Coming into Holy Island. Not, Not Holy sure if you can hear this, going into Holy Island. Not Hollyhead. <laughs> and we're going to rendezvous with Robin Chapman. Which will be excellent. A There's seal colony. The Fine Islands. Beautiful scenery. Beautiful uh, scenery. A castle. Oh, perhaps you just text you. <laughs> yeah. If you pan around here. <laughs> It's a pretty cool looking castle there. And Lindisfarne. Under the cell, if I can get to it. No, it's not, it's in front of us now. Pull away. <laughs> it does exist. There's Lindisfarne. <laughs> See the Farn yeah. Islands there as well. It's so obviously we're in Lindisfarne. Uh, and we've had an intruder. Hey. <laughs> so Rob's just joined us. I'm taking it from home, Tim. With this stuff. It's a team, Tim, team, Tim, tag, tag team. Tagging out. And uh, pass the baton. It's going to be a yeah, sad so night for me, last so night. Holy, holy Island is your Holy Grail. Yeah, pilgrimage. End, end of the road for you. <laughs> yeah, this pilgrimage. is where I was aiming for. This is where I always wanted to come to. It's like a second so. home. <laughs> so so pilgrimage has come to an end on Holy Island. It's uh, Friday night. Nice gentle conditions. You can always blow your uh, <laughs> mum's 60th uh, right in uh, off. A little sail, bit of sail on the side. You can't go wrong. Side order of sail. The main course. Galaxy. <laughs> now that's bright and that's shining me right in the eyeball. You're still looking good though. <laughs> Thanks. I look red. I look like I've been smacked. I'm like a bad boy. Do you know what you look like? What? You've been sailing. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> So what, what do you reckon of sailing malarkey so far? It's alright, we, we haven't moved anywhere. That's, that's, my, that's, that's my kind of sailing. <laughs> so far, zero miles. <laughs> yeah, floating in a half. Zero miles, I'm happy. That's fine with me. My old mate Port, we're all alright. What do you reckon then, Megs? What do you reckon? Four as much. Yeah. 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 What about it? Megan, stay! <laughs> stay still, Megan! God damn it. Traumatize me. Sit down. Sit down. She's <laughs> coming. <laughs> that girl. Oh. Is that fox alive, Megan? I'm a little chap, you. Today. <laughs> Today you can eat that dry food. <laughs> now, those predators will eat dry food. Well, you chit chat with boss over there. Tell him what the score is. The score is this, Megan. But predators don't eat dry food. Now, 
You want to earn a little respect around here? <laughs> <laughs> Go back to boss. Tell boss what we do. It's <laughs> that food. Real fucking food. We're diminishing our credibility as a predator. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that would be the situation. So fellas, you want to tell me what's going on? Hey. Hello. Uh, oh. I'm, oh. I'm Helvin. It's a bit windy. Sun's out. I'm a bit seasick. I'm uh, enjoying some squash. Um, half of that's probably salt water because well, we've been sprayed quite a lot. Um, and we're heading towards Ab... Ab... Uh, Arbro, it's just as bad as me. Arbro. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, we're sailing with winds. Oh, and, yeah, real uh, sailing this time. Sails and everything. Yeah. And uh, the wonderful sound of the ocean rather than the engine. Yes. <laughs> So yeah, we're cracking across in a force 5 to 6, close reach. 7.6 knots just then. 7.6 knots. Felt like a train across the uh, the fourth estuary. And Bell Rock should be uh, appearing on our port hand side, no, starboard hand side, fairly soon, somewhere. Apparently there's lots of wildlife on it. Is there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that the chap said there's like hundreds of seals and stuff. Yeah. Oh. I have to so, keep eyes open. Maybe we won't go quite that close to it though. Maybe, maybe make a seal burger for dinner tonight. <laughs> a bit calmer than yesterday. Now we're going from Arbrose on to Stonehaven. So we're on the uh, north, south, southeastern side of Scotland. And the weather, weather is nice and the sun is out. What do you reckon, fellas? Tell me what we've been up to this morning. Now yeah, it's smoky! Yeah, I've got smoky fingers. <laughs> They're uh, a nice condition, by the way. Not a joint or anything else. It's all, it's all about the bony, small adder. Yeah. Yeah. Local, local delicacy. So me, me and Rich have walked along those rocks over there. Case lines starting to look a little bit Scottish. So all's good. I'm starting to look a bit beardy. Oh, that like sailors. Um, you sorted out your uh, bowel issues now, though, so the world is looking a little bit better for you. Let's get back to sleep. Yeah. 6.30 in the morning, just passing Aberdeen. Started off from Stonehaven this morning at about half past four. A beautiful sunny morning. Unfortunately just had to turn the engine on again because the wind's a bit light. Um, and I want to get through some of this shipping. But most of the time we've been under spinnaker and the cruising chute. Bob's come on deck a few minutes ago. On in. A bit chilly out there though, isn't it? A little bit. Yeah. Some of our crew are taking things slightly less uh, seriously, taking their duties slightly less seriously. <laughs> and that one as well. Yeah. Look hey. at, looking warm, Rob. Lovely. Shiny and wet. This is how we like it. We like it wet and windy. Hello Rich. Hello, hello. <laughs> what we got? So, Adam, have you been enjoying the weather out here today? Oh, I'm pissing it down out there so much so I've been in here staying dry. <laughs> Actually, I've cheated. Uh, I don't know why you want to stay dry. It's just no fun at all. <laughs> Actually, sitting here in the companion way isn't so dry after all. Uh, but yeah. Uh, 
Nice coastline though, but just a bit, a bit damp. Oh, yeah. do a bit of coastline. I'll do it out of the window. Right. Right. That's, that's the coastline there. Where's salty? Yeah. It's uh, mountainous again. Well, it could be uh, the North Devon really. Look at this coastline. Well, not mountainous. Cliff, Cliffus. Cliffus Maximus. Cliff. On the way to Banff, hopefully. Richard Cliff. There's Adam. Dry Adam. Dry. Bone dry Adam. Uh, he did make a cup of soup though. And uh, uh, chocolate rolls. And chocolate rolls. I've been keeping Meg dry actually. Yeah, he, he ends just keep one way or another. Yeah. It's right. a, <laughs> a bit dodgy. <laughs> record any of that a lot is on standby <laughs> so what, what do you reckon of that trip are you recording now yeah i'm recording uh, now it's been pretty interesting <laughs> what did you say um uh, just get, came out of uh, banff and uh, we had to get the harbour master to watch for the sets of waves because they had wave, waves crashing over the entrance and uh, we managed to get, get out of there quite all right uh, so that was a little bit dodgy, and then uh, busted Adam yeah. <laughs> to coming into uh, Aussie, Aussie mouth. Aussie mouth, yeah. Things yeah. Of it. yeah, Lossy mouth uh, was just as gnarly. Only the reverse, it was coming in, and there was this big. Well, anyway, Rich timed it just right, so that there was this. Uh, there was a break in the in the waves. These big rollers coming in, and then. Uh, well, anyway, as we were getting closer and closer to the mouth of the harbour. Um, the, big fuck off wave was building and it came in but the last minute it turned the bow into it and it sloshed everywhere and then yeah hyper speed and then went straight in it was pretty good we had spectators watching and uh yeah you could tell they were relieved just as much as we were so and there's a photo out there apparently so we have a camera taking photos of us doing it because he thought that's some nutters. You know, it will be needed for the investigation or something. <laughs> I presume. <laughs> yeah, all, all spectators had like big silly like grins on their faces, and we had a bit of a, a whistle and stuff. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we could, we could. By that point, we could tell that what we'd done was a little bit stupid. <laughs> so uh, well, there was there was a, a fisherman Kate did come in afterwards, actually. So you know. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Nah. He's a local. <laughs> it, was, it was fine. Um, His boat was yeah, I want to do it again. <laughs> no. no. Yeah. Not missing. We're in. Oh, and been up to these days? Inverness tomorrow. Yeah, Inverness. Uh, yeah. Hi, guys. Hello. Video diary. Uh, We're motoring. Motoring. What's the, what's the date? Yeah, Friday. It's Friday. Yeah. Motoring down uh, into Inverness down the Murray Firth. Not a lot of wind, but quite a lot of swell. But we got out right out of uh, Fuzzy Mouth. Motoring down now in the evening sun. Very pleasant. Just looking out for dolphins. We haven't seen any yet, no. No, no dolphins, but loads of sun.
Jeez. Christ, they're right here. Just right, so much, for the, benefit, oh. for the benefit of the video, we just wound Rob up about 10, 30 <laughs> seconds <laughs> earlier when he was on the shitter. <laughs> wow. Man, we got perfect timing. We have any food. We have any pasta. So what happened, Rich? Um, I had a fuel. I had a fuel. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> Never exciting instalments. Yeah. Ran out of fuel, had to tack in, passed the big ship. Had dolphins all around us though. Yeah, yeah and, and dolphins all, uh, fishing around us, which is uh, it's nice. Dolphins got, over got there, yeah, they, they eating a fish. They came to see what the commotion was. It was... Uh, Megs. Had to tack in. Just oh, not looking so unhappy at the moment. Uh, Meg was trying to help, she was getting involved, coming out whilst we were busy tacking. <laughs> tacking, <laughs> here to here, river. which was quite a strange experience because we haven't done much of that. Um, yeah, with but... a diesel, Rich using his yacht master skills came in under sail against the pontoon here. Yeah. And the bellboy. Um, don't know what he was doing actually, he was just waiting for us to come in. He just like took the rope and didn't do anything with it, just held it in his hand. He was like, why, why take it? <laughs> yeah. Nice bit of excitement to finish off uh, the trip for me. Oh yeah, Rob's on his way out. It's all, it's all over for me, but the story continues. There's Rich going down the uh, Caledonian Canal. Success! Full throttle. Empty that bilge pump. Okay, do its job. Pumpy, pumpy.